Lastly, let me allow to give some um, comments on the issues that arise through the possible spread of the virus from the viewpoint of Japanese labor law. Unfortunately, there may be a time when we decide to terminate the contracts with some workers because of the economic situation caused by the virus. In such cases, is dismissing someone easy? Of course not. Japan is famous for its traditional lifetime employment system. The workers are strongly protected accordingly. So there are two requirements to satisfy to dismiss a labor contract, which we call the employment dismissal regulations. The two wheels to fill are like this. As you see, first, the dismissal should have objectively reasonable grounds. And second, the dismissal should be considered to be appropriate in general social terms. Of course, the burden of proof lies with the employers. It is very harsh for the employers. Additionally, in such cases that the dismissal is decided on account of deteriorating business environment, which is called caused by the virus, it's not the worker's fault. They have done nothing wrong. So, of course, it is strictly regulated. In Japan, such a kind of dismissal is called dismissal for the purpose of reorganization. Here it is. And there are four strict prerequisites to fill. They are so severe that the success rate of the employers is roughly 20% when the case is brought to the court. The requirements are, first one is business necessity. There must be a strong necessity of the personnel reduction, of course. Second one is efforts taken to avoid dismissal. Dismissal is admitted as the last result. And the third one is rationality in selection of personnel to be dismissed. They have to be chosen according to the fair standards. And the last one is agreement between management and the affected workers. It does not necessarily mean that agreement is necessary always, but the employer has to make his best effort to gain consent of workers. To fill these prerequisites is very hard, of course, even if some companies do that. Perhaps you have said you have heard some news like that, but it's very dangerous. It may be dangerous to copy them. I think in many cases, you shouldn't do that. And recently, similar cases are reported regarding employment, employment offer. Can it be possible to withdraw it on account of the deteriorating business environment? Judicial presents regard employment offer as a kind of working contract. So to withdraw employment offer is basically the same as a case of dismissal. It is severely restricted like dismissal for the purposes of reorganization. You must carefully consider whether the four prerequisites are satisfied. 